Hi, I am Dr. Major Vimal Raj. I am a senior consultant cardiothoracic radiologist and head the unit of cardiac imaging in Narana Hidyalaya Hospital, Bangalore. Indian population is extremely prone to have coronary artery disease. A lot of the patients that we see on today's date are young and do not have any risk factors at all. I've seen a lot of interesting facts when we treat patients with suspected or known coronary artery disease in India. In the last week, we had one of our fellows who is just in his early 30s, came in with very atypical symptoms and uh, didn't even want a scan. But when I look at the lifestyle that we all are living, the lifestyle itself is a strong risk factor. I said, we should do a CT scan for you. We should do a calcium score for you. We should do a coronary angiography for you. And these are the images of the coronary angiography. As you can see, his right coronary artery and the left circumflex artery are absolutely clean. However, the major coronary artery, the left anterior descending or LAD, has about 80% stenosis. Now, this is a major shock for him, for us, CT coronary angiography and calcium scoring is a very, very important test, but is not widely available. That is primarily because of the technology that is required to do these scans. At Narayana Hridayalaya Hospital, we are very fortunate to have one of the high-end CT scanners called as the GE Revolution. In our scanner, we get eight centimeters of coverage so we are able to scan a patient, the entire heart, within two heartbeats itself. It also has a technology called as the Snapshot Freeze or SSF. Snapshot Freeze is fantastic because it freezes the motion of the coronary arteries and we are able to see images without any blur within them. At an average, we are performing 60 to 70 cardiac CTs every day in summary, I would like to say that you need to have good CT scanners to do high-end CT cardiac imaging. But more important than that is that we need to start thinking about screening people who are at risk of developing coronary artery disease and increasingly use CT cardiac angiography and CT calcium score.